Bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Lake, Lake Chapala. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors. Today we have found ourselves on the banks of the largest lake in Mexico, Lago de Chapala. There are numerous settlements located all around the lake, but today we're gonna be focusing on just one, the town of Chapala. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Let's go. Chapala is located just 30 miles southeast of Guadalajara, which makes for the perfect day trip from Guadalajara or even an extended stay. First, let's go check out our accommodations. We're staying right downtown, just three blocks away from the lake. We found this cute little apartment on Airbnb for $50 a night. Let's check it out. Look how nice it is. We have this large living slash dining room, a small courtyard area outside, so many plants, an amazing natural light, a full kitchen fit with a washer and a great bedroom space. Before we head down to the lake, let's head into town and see what's going on today. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you're walking around town is how colorful it is. It's these gorgeous pets pastels that just make everything pop. Something else you'll notice around town are these very cool cantinas. I love the old saloon doors. Come on in and have a beverage. Right around the corner from where we're staying are a ton of tiendas. We've been buying all of our food, especially our favorite, the produce store. They have got some amazing flavors as well as some amazing prices, like all these blackberries for 40 pesos or $2. That's a very good deal if you ask me. It sure is. <laughs> Something else we have been really enjoying is grabbing a rotisserie chicken from right here. It's quick and so tasty. A full chicken with tortillas, salsa, and a salad is 170 pesos, just $8.50, and we just love it. Oh, I know you can't smell it, but there is a carniceria right here with some beautiful cuts of meat. Right in the center of town, you're gonna find the Plaza de Chapala, and surrounding it are a bunch of restaurants. Let's go pop into one. How's this place look? This place looks great, <laughs> and we saved you a seat. There you go. We are starting our breakfast with the most vibrant OJ I think I've ever seen. It's definitely the most naranja naranja. <laughs> Get your vitamin C, baby. Aren't you glad we took you to breakfast? <laughs> oh my God, there's always something. <laughs> something we've noticed in town is that a lot of the signs and menus are in both Spanish and English. This is because there is a very large population of expats that live in the Lake Chapala area, especially in Ajijic, where we'll be going next week with you. Next Sure to check that one out. Best part of the day. Time to eat. Our food just showed up and I got the omelet especial. It's filled with a bunch of veggies and cheese. And I got the huevos rancheros. It's two fried eggs on top of a tortilla drowned in salsa. Let's jump in. Huevos rancheros is one of those traditional Mexican breakfasts that you just have to try and something I particularly enjoy. Mmm, wow. The eggs are that perfect runny. They fried the tortilla so it has a little bit of texture to it. And you know what else is great? The spice is like a little punch in the mouth. <laughs> Delicious. I could have literally sat there all day. It is so relaxing here. Jose and Isabella who work here own this place. They are so sweet. We talked to them for a while. Make sure to come by and see them. Say hi to them from us and get some of their tasty food. All right, well, let's keep continuing. We're gonna head down to the lake now. Come with us. One of the things we are loving about Chapala is how accessible it is. The downtown area is just the right size so you can walk everywhere. We're about to go on to the main road in town that heads down to Lake Chapala. Along the way, we're gonna see a bunch of restaurants, bars, and cafes. Let's go. And on the main road, right before you get to the lake, you're gonna run into the parish of San Francisco. It is so beautiful. Definitely take a peek inside and maybe you can even catch a service. Right across from the church, we saw something that we think would be a very cool way to get around here. Let's go check it out. Behind us here is the Chapala Express. It is a trolley that you can take a tour around the city on. It costs 100 pesos, which is $5 and lasts anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour. We think it would be really nice to see the city this way, get some history. We haven't done it, but if you 
do let us know how it is in the comments. You can purchase your ticket at the Beer Garden Bar and Restaurant right on the corner where the Malicon begins. And I can't wait to get on this. Let's go. And you can see the colorful Chapala sign right behind me. It's a great place to stop and snap a pic. Welcome to Lake Chapala. When we came over the mountains from Guadalajara the other day, we were absolutely stunned by its size. It's 50 miles east to west, eight miles north to south, and has an area of 420 square miles, being the largest lake in all of Mexico. It's absolutely massive. One of the only downsides we found here is that it is not advisable to swim in the lake due to contaminants. However, it is still so beautiful to walk on or take a boat ride, which we hope to do in a little bit. Let's keep going. It seems to me that I've lost Adam. Has anyone seen him? Hey, how are you guys doing? I'm just enjoying all of the beautiful flowers you'll find along the Malecon. They really go out of their way to take care of this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Get out of there, you pothead. <laughs> There's a lot of really nice restaurants right down here as well. Look at that Papel Picado. And what did you find? The best pet, the best pest, the best dressed <laughs> pig I've ever seen. Wow, look at you him. You are not a pest. I'm sorry I slipped there. <laughs> yeah. You look very nice. Thank you. I mean, he thanks you. <laughs> this is really nice. It's called the emerger, and I'm guessing that's a fish that's emerging from the lake. <laughs> oh, Adam. <laughs> and if you're feeling a little out of breath during the walk, that's okay. We're at 5,000 feet or almost one mile. So it's pretty high. Make sure to hydrate. And all along the way, there are plenty of benches to just sit down and enjoy this natural beauty. Look at this too, this nice dock we can go out on. The temperature is and speaking of the temperature, Lake Chapala is known to have one of the best climates in the world, hence why a lot of people come and move here. Yes, for Dad, I can vouch for that. Every day has been absolutely gorgeous here. It sure has. So right down over here, the Malacón ends, so we're gonna continue back east. Come with us. And I know we said it's not advisable to swim in the lake here, but they do have places like this. It's called El Quetzal. It's a bar and restaurant, and they actually have this beautiful pool right here where if you go in and just have a drink or some food, you can enjoy it right on the water. And Marcelo right over here, he works here at this restaurant. He's waving. He's so sweet. He gave us the rundown. Very nice guy. Okay, Adam, what are we up to? So, I mean, what are you up so to? So this gentleman right here walks around with this, these two little metal sticks and they will electrocute you so they can show how strong you are. Oh my god. It's gosh. 20 pesos. He does, you hear this? Yeah. Walking around town. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> let's do it. Oh my goodness. Be careful. Ah, oh man, that's Is strong. It, oh yeah. You feel it running through you, coursing through yeah. your veins? Ah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, don't push it. I can't. <laughs> I can't even bend my arm. Okay, let go. Okay, okay. See. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Who wants to pay to do that? <laughs> yeah. Was I fuerte? Fuerte? See. Si. <laughs> Más o menos fuerte. Muy fuerte. Oh, okay, see. I'm, he said it. Muy fuerte. I can be electrocuted like the best of them. Wow. I'm going to give you a, a tip if you're going to do that. If you have any sort of heart condition, do not do that. He said I was fuerte, though. You heard him. I don't know. He's mm -hmm. like, eh. <laughs> it's probably true. Yeah. Right in the center here, you're going to find this beautiful fountain and a lot of people just hanging out, enjoying the shade. We're going to head down here on the dock to the lighthouse. Let's go. And the shade is really nice, but can you? You hear all those birds. Adam was sitting on a bench here the other day and got pooped on. So you always need to be careful where you're gonna sit. Hey, that's good luck in some countries. <laughs> Not this country. <laughs> Down at the end of the pier in the lighthouse is a mural museum that has depictions of the history of Chapala. You should definitely check it out, but no peer pressure. Adam was admiring this gentleman's bike over there. 
is one sweet ride. So he just came down. Check it out. And asked so if he wanted a photo on it. El guapo <laughs> on mi bicicleta. <laughs> yeah. Once again, the people here are just so nice. You look bad to the bone. Right at the end of the pier here is where you're going to find the boats to take you on a tour around the lake and to the islands. We have been asked all week, multiple times a day if we wanted to do this, but we have been waiting for you. And now that you are here, we are set to go. It's 620 pesos or about $31 to go on the trip, whether you're two people or 10. So make sure to bring some friends because we saved you some seats. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go find our captain. All right, we found our guy. His name is Oscar and we are going to get on the boat right now. Come with us. Hurry up, we're leaving. Don't leave without me. <laughs> it's nice. Nice Man, private little boat. This is nice. We're the only ones on it. Well, I mean us and you, of course. Yes. Adios. <laughs> hey, adios, amigos. Woohoo, there's Oscar. Yay. We are rocking and rolling here on the lake. There are three islands and we are heading to Isla Scorpion. Well, I believe it's Isla de la Alacranes. It doesn't sound as cool as Isla Scorpion. Yeah, that's true. So we'll just call it Scorpion Island, and I wonder why they call it that. I don't know, but let's find out together. <laughs> wow, seeing Chapala from this angle makes it even more beautiful. We are getting so close, and I am getting so excited. It's right here, and I can't wait. It looks like there's a lot of stuff on this little island. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. We're here. <laughs> Let's go explore. And look, when you arrive, you get stamped in. It's official. It is official. <laughs> Let's start having some fun. Yes, yes, Oscar. Oh my God, he's really getting into this I lake feel like life. I am in the 80s, living my best lake life right here. <laughs> we have one hour to go explore this little island before we have to be back down here at the boat. If you do want to prolong your stay, it's about $15, 290 pesos every extra hour. Cool. Well, let's explore the island this way first. We're gonna take a little walk here on the shore. We're just hanging out and really enjoying the lap of the water and nature. And I was just talking to this gentleman here, I asked him if he lived here, and he said yes. I noticed that he grows some corn and he was eating a guayaba and he just offered one to me. Escogela, la que tú quieras. Oh, okay. Y aquí está una grandote. Okay, this one's better. Guayabas. Guayabas. Look at this. It's más dulce. It's pretty sweet. It's a fruta. Pretty good. Okay. He said I can take a peek into his home here. Look at all this fruit he gave me as well. He's got some fishing nets right here so you can fish out there. Nice comfortable bed. This is perfect. Wow. No nada necesitas mucho para un vida felices. No, pues yo quiero feliz. Yeah. Sí. Oh. Yeah. I love that. Gracias. And that is why I absolutely love traveling. Those are the experiences that, you know, I put myself into. He said he doesn't have a lot, but he is very happy. And that's a lesson that we can all, you know, learn from. And it's it's really nice to hear it humbles you. And that's just what traveling does. We hope that you can get out there and experience the world because it's the best teacher in life. All right, well, let's go see what else this little island has going on. There he is, a friend. Muy bueno. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Muchas gracias para compartir tu isla. He is the man. <laughs> what an awesome interaction. I don't care what else we do today. That was just so cool. Love him. Looks like there's a pathway down here. Just some of the restaurants. They've got a little souvenir shop. And what did you find? Oh my gosh. What are we in Michigan? Oh, he always makes that joke. Trampoline time, baby. <laughs> Trampoline on the lake must be in Michigan. <laughs> That's right. You can hear that music. The vibe is really nice here. There are a few restaurants where you can come and sit on the water. That seems like the main draw. You kind of get here and go straight to the restaurant, have some lunch. There's also foosball tables right here and a little market and a chapel right over here. 
for such a small island, this place has got some stuff going on. It seems like the farther we walk down, there's just more bars, more restaurants, more shops. They're selling rubber chickens over here. You may be wondering why they call it Scorpion Island. It's because it's infested with scorpions. No, I'm just kidding. There are no scorpions here, but if you use your imagination, you can sort of picture how the island is shaped like a scorpion, minus the claws and the tail. I looked at it from the air before with the drone, and it looks more like Kitchen Knife Island to me, but to each their own. So there are actually scorpions here. They are little guys. Check this out. Wow, and they don't sting. No. no. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we lied. <laughs> Apparently there are scorpions on the island. Yeah. Good to know. Over to our left, you can find La Piedra Sagrada. And this is where the indigenous group, the Huichols, would do their animal sacrifices. Let's go check it out. Right off the main path up here is the sacred rock. There's a little structure here. Not sure when this was built, but inside are some offerings. So it seems like it's still used to this day. And while we're up here with the best view of the lake, we want to give a very special shout out to our new patrons. Thank you so much, David, Dana, and Heather. We appreciate you. Yes, we're so grateful for your contributions and just love having you a part of our community on Patreon. If you want to join it, we will leave the link in the description below. All right, I think it's time to get off this island. Our hour is up, so let's go ahead to the boat. Oh. Look at this guy. His name is Mariachi, <laughs> yeah. the coolest pug name ever. <laughs> yeah. He's just chilling with his tongue out. <laughs> this place is so cool. There were so many things to do. I feel like an hour was enough, but you could definitely stay longer if you wanted to. Let's head back to the mainland and continue the fun. Adios, Scorpion Island! Oh. Now that we're back, let's keep exploring the Malecon. My turn. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know if she can handle it. I don't think so. Wow, when we left on that boat ride, it was busy. We're back and it is popping off. Today is Sunday, which is known as Family Day in Mexico. So everybody is out yeah. right now having a good time, enjoying themselves. Let's go see what we can find on the Malecon. Right here, this lady has some camote. We have never tried it. She's sweet enough to give us a little taste. Adam can be the guinea pig. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. Lo <laughs> siento. Typical. <laughs> That's Adam for you, yes. Ah, gracias. <laughs> Let's see it, it kind of looks like coconut. She said it was like potato. Oh. Oh, mm. it looks like it has that consistency. It does. It kind of tastes like a potato, but sweeter. And the he, salt and the lime are really good. And she's got some hot sauce you can put on it. Mm, interesting. Very cool. Wow, and check out this skate park right off the Melicon. This place is so cool. It has so many different elements to it. There's a half pipe over here, a ton of places to grind. It seems like all different levels of expertise as well. There's people on bikes, roller skates. There's a hoverboard over here. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. And check this out. Everyone is having so much fun. I am loving it. I know we said before it's not advisable to swim, but it seems like the locals are having a great time in the water. So I guess I don't really know. Yeah. They must know more than we do. Right here behind us is another beautiful Chapala sign. And in front of us is this long pier out to a statue. I'm not sure what it is. Let's go check it out. How apropos, in a place where fishing is still such a big part of life, they have the statue of Jesus Pescador, Jesus the Fisherman. It looks like these kids just stripped down and they're about to jump in the water. <laughs> wow, they're brave. <laughs> As 
as you can hear, music is everywhere. There are people walking around singing. There are bands with tubas and drums. People are dancing. It's really cool. And running parallel to the Melacon is a huge market. There's a lot of different vendors and restaurants. We're gonna pop in in a little bit to get a really fun drink we saw, so stay tuned for that. And best of all, there are food vendors everywhere. You know Adam and his food. That's right. <laughs> Wow, and as we're approaching the end of the Melacon, we see all of these, what looks like pelicans right over here. Let's go check them out. And we've been here for about a week now, and I can honestly say today has been the most fun, and that's because everyone is here. All the local families are out. It's just such a wonderful experience. So if you can come here on a Sunday, we definitely recommend it. And right over here by the fountain, this guy has like a nine or 10 foot python. It is huge. Is it a boa constrictor? It might be a boa, it's a constrictor. It's one of the <laughs> constrictors. I can vouch for that. I'm gonna stay over here. You can go over there. The pelicans are right in front of us, but we were just walking past this restaurant called La Palapa and it is absolutely packed. It looks like the most popular restaurant in town. It might be worth checking out. Something to know, over 170 different species of birds actually migrate to this lake throughout the year. Pelicans are just one of them. This is so cool. They're huge. That's why right there, he just put all the fish guts in. Whoa. It's okay guys, share. This is like Adam when the food comes out. Hey! As for dad. Yeah. And I got wow. some fish guts on me, so we better get out of here before they come after me. Yeah, let's go. And there's some other birds over here. They've got really red eyes. <laughs> kind of creepy looking, actually. Might have been up late last night. <laughs> you never know. They took the red eye. <laughs> Good one, babe. Thanks. Hey, just being in the right place at the right time. We just lucked out right there, and watching all those birds eat kind of made me a little peckish yep. myself. <laughs> Let's head to the market and get a drink and maybe a snack. Oh, I like that idea. Come, Come with, with us. us. Nice and colorful, like all the markets we've been to. It seems like it's a little more like a traditional market. And a great place to come and pick up some souvenirs. They have everything from keychains right up to some really beautifully handcrafted dresses and ponchos. They have a ton of bars like this aligning the market where you can pick your own cantarito. Check out the cantaritos on this one. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> and something you're gonna notice in this region is they love squirt. It's in the cantaritos that you get. Something you're gonna notice in this region is I love squirt too. <laughs> it honestly is very underutilized, I feel like. It really is. <laughs> These little fish we've been seeing all over the place, they're called charales, yes. and they come from the lake, they're fried and they spice them or they leave them plain. Yeah. I'm sort of intrigued, yeah. and this lady said I could try one. <laughs> all right, give it a try. Mm, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, it's like crunchy, crunchy. You can taste the bones and everything, just like, mm, it's delicious actually. Kind of tastes like a Dorito. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a spicy Cheeto. That's delicious. <laughs> While that fish was tasty, I could use a little flavor change in my mouth. Let's go grab a beverage and something to eat right over here. Sounds good to me. Woo! Drink number one. Look at this. We got a Kinder Cappuccino Frappuccino. Ruben, we got this one for you, the little Kinder chocolate. And here is drink number two. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's more than a drink. This is a snack drink. Yeah. I said we were gonna get some food and a drink. Instead, we got a combo. It's a michelada with some shrimp and we got some dried meat. It's, it looks absolutely amazing. Give it a try. Let's try this. 
I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna try this little guy right here. <laughs> that's the straw <laughs> with chamoy on it. Oh, that's really good actually. <laughs> it's getting pretty busy out here. You can tell it's kind of loud. People are having a good time. We had a family join us at our table. It's awesome. It's awesome. And they asked what our YouTube channel was and subscribe. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. He dropped the shrimp. You saw him earlier, he dropped, oh my gosh. He dropped the potato earlier. That's why I'm not allowed to have nice things. Exactly. I gotta try some meat too, hold on. <laughs> oh yeah. Some dried meat. Mm, with hot sauce on it? I'm gonna oh. take a little sip to wash it down. <laughs> oh, and if I want a little sweet at the end, guess what? It's everything all in one. It's my meal, my drink, and dessert. And mess. And a mess. <laughs> and I know it's a little loud, but that's because everyone is having such a good time. Including us. Have you ever seen a more wild and crazy drink? I definitely <laughs> haven't. They were pretty intense. And a little pricey. They were 310 pesos, which is just over $15. But you know, it was like an activity, lunch, and entertainment all in one. And we were right on the water, which was really nice. And they were delicious. Well, let's go head by the lake, sit down, and enjoy it for a bit. I like that idea. Right here looks like a good spot. Why don't we sit down and have a little chat? Man, Mexicans just know how to have fun. <laughs> it is so true. I feel like wherever we go, people just make us feel like we're part of their family or we're their friend right away. Yeah, it's it's so special. Adam and I talk about it all the time and it's really hard to put into words. I'm like getting emotional. Honestly, I, I feel so, I'm getting emotional too. <laughs> yeah. I feel so grateful every day that we're in Mexico. It's really special and we really hope that you can come to Mexico and experience that feeling because it just changes, it changes your world and it changes the way we think. It's really beautiful. It's magical here, it really is. And it's not the micheladas <laughs> talking. I think maybe a little bit. Poquito, poquito. <laughs> but this is a feeling that we get every single day here. And if you've been following us for a while, you know that we love it here. And this is just why, and we just really wanted to share that with you. Yeah. I'm sure we've sold you by now. <laughs> I hope we have. Well, thank you so much for coming along with us today. It would have been nowhere near as much fun if you hadn't been here to experience it with us. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ling 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 the bell. And make sure to stay tuned because next week we are taking you to Ahihik, which is another town on the lake. We'll see you next time. Adios.